Yes. The field is set, racing in the Scarborough, Matisse midfield away, Bold Bastille jumped well with to be or not to be. Chateau Miraval got up to third, they're two lengths in front of Bellatrix Star and Gigi's Miss Truth. A couple sassy Jenny followed by another Prophet and they steam three lengths in front of Benazil and well back in the field Matisse, a gap to Zaytung and in her rise is last. So it's Bold Bastille, 750 metres to go with superior speed to the bend, a length and a quarter in front of Chateau Miraval to be or not to be as third and fourth Bellatrix star. A length and a quarter, Gigi's Miss Truth, fifth on the fence, then another Prophet, next Sassy Jenny, Matisse, Benagil, well back Zaytung, and in her eyes. That's the order as they come towards the 450. It's Bol Bastille, Chateau Miraval attempting to get a little bit closer, to be or not to be needing luck. Bellatrix star hooked to the outside. Gigi's Miss Truth also needs some luck, still three off the lead. Behind them, Sassy Jenny, and further back in the field, Matisse as Bellatrix a trick star is produced at the 150 moves up to to be or not to be then Gigi's Miss Truth but Bellatrix star racing out of its skin and Bellatrix star won at three quarters Gigi's Miss Truth to be or not to be third photo four Zaytung or Matisse then came another prophet bold Bastille Benazil in her rise Sassy Jenny and Chateau Miraval well puts to bed the theory she's a wet tracker the star witness Philly uh, handled the wet track at Flemington to win the cap on Teves and many expecting that once it got on a dry track that the form would turn around. Same winner. She's a quality filly. There's no doubting that. If you stayed uh, uh, with confidence with her, gee, you've been rewarded with a price. Gigi's mistruth. This quality Tasmanian filly runs second. To be or not to be runs third. And some real eye catches from the rear of the field, including Matisse. She's a good filly, this uh, Bellatrix star.